Hi everybody, Maria from BFABU. Um, today is day uh, 15 of the 30 day uh, Facebook challenge. Um, and I'm in the car as you can see it. I'm just not sure what time I'm gonna get home. I got a few things to do. So I thought I would take a few minutes over here to share a thought, a tip with you uh, and stay loyal to my process. So anyway, uh, I, I posted uh, on my uh, Facebook page today, um, you know, the new guidelines um, on blood pressure or hypertension. And hopefully you are aware of them. If not, I'm, you know, making you aware now. And we can also go back and read uh, the article. Uh, but the new guidelines actually now were, you know, kind of dropping the measurement to 130 by 80. Uh, which I think they were previously 140 by 80. Uh, but back in the day, it used to be 120 by 80. Um, so anyway, um, you know, uh, let's link this blood pressure to blood sugar, which is actually, they are um, correlated, um, you know. And one of the ways that, um, you know, high blood pressure or high blood sugar uh, increases uh, blood pressure is because the constant glucose or high amounts of glucose in the body in in in, in the blood actually thickens the walls of the vessels and uh, so it makes them hardy and actually leaky so causes you know to uh, to drive a greater pressure for that blood to pass through uh, so how does you know we have how do we have in you know too much uh, glucose in the blood well there's multiple reasons but we've been talking about it over here in the last uh, you know two weeks that I've been sharing tips here and there it's uh, you know it's lifestyle right and it's the same thing that is recommended for you know lowering the blood pressure uh, you know some people 46 percent of the population they say now that they would be under the umbrella of uh, hypertensive uh, so one of the first things uh, that uh, each one of us can do to take control of it is actually you know looking at our nutrition um, and looking at our stress level because the stress level also raises blood blood pre uh, blood sugar uh, which also <laughs> raises blood pressure you know and you can feel it also but it's doing multiple things at the same time with stress and anxiety and all that kind of stuff. So but let's talk a little bit about the nutrition here for a second and what can we do today? Okay, well, one is obviously, you know, you can lower the amount of uh, sugar consumption. You know, everybody knows this. Uh, there is no, you know, um, <laughs> there's no magic <laughs> knowledge on here, right? Uh, but then you say, okay, well, I don't eat a lot of sugar. Um, like I was a sugar addict, you know, my prediabetes was driven by consumption of how large amounts of sugar. Uh, well, I'm going to ask you back. I mean, um, how much simple carbs are you having in your diet? Because they convert into glucose, you know, and if they're not utilized, like it with, uh, exercise that, and you know, that the body can go utilized and especially muscle training, uh, weight training that trains your muscles to go and actually increase the uptake to take that glucose and utilize their energy, you know, you have more of that, you know, blood sugar, uh, uh, higher content in your, in your, in your body. So, you know, so think about, okay, can I replace, um, you know, the way that I eat, you know, take one food over here and replace it with something healthier. Uh, and I would invite you to consider, okay, instead of that pasta that comes from gluten and all that, you know, maybe consider one of the pastas that I mentioned in the past that comes from, you know, pea or comes from chickpeas or come from other forms. You know, there's amazing uh, options out there now. Uh, and then, okay, well, in the bread, instead of the bread, how about, um, you know, something else that can replace? Well, maybe uh, you can get a wrap that is made from vegetable or you can get the coconut wrap. Just start thinking about all those things that are high in glucose and make a list, okay? The tip is here is make a list or keep a diary. You can go to my website. I actually have my food and wellness uh, you know, journal there. You can download it and use that as a to track and also track how you feel. Do that for a few days or a week. I think the tracker that I have over there, you know, a PDF, you can download it for a week. You know, and then after you do that, you know, consciously go back and I said, okay, well, you know, I felt this way with this food. You know, this food probably can replace. Then you start looking into replacements. 
you know, a person like me can help. You can go online and also find help. You know, maybe friends can help who are in the, you know, kind of health wagon and are uh, looking, you know, in the same kind of mindset as you to improve your lifestyle um, and so on. And then another, you know, exercise is going to improve your, uh, you know, I think that lowers about, um, you know, five points or so um, on your blood pressure. You know, uh, and also, like I said a minute ago, you know, exercise is going to increase, um, you know, the utilization of uh, glucose from the body. Uh, and uh, then you have, obviously, you know, um, stress management. And stress management, again, is going to impact, you know, stress impacts digestive system, impacts blood sugar, impacts blood pressure, impacts, you know, health, period right so how about taking you know a few seconds you know to take some deep breathing how about starting the day with some kind of shape or meditation that is going to set your day in a better tone than often instead of running you know so setting the alarm a few minutes earlier so you can actually take those measures to start the day in a much more positive way and every time you feel like anxiety is building stress whatever Time out, put a time out and take a few deep breaths. Close your eyes and feel, let the body, kind of shoulders drop and, you know, calm take over, okay? So anyway, there's multiple ways that uh, each one of us can take action. And, um, you know, if you do not measure your blood pressure, you know, maybe it's a good way to do so. I mean, start, you know, if it is only an annual thing that you go to the doctor, I mean, check it more often, especially if you don't feel like yourself and you don't feel like you're best in your health. You know, um, even you can get those cuffs, you know, inexpensive. I, I, you know, I have a blood pressure and I measure that with my clients too. But uh, anyway, uh, just stay on top of it. This is, this is serious. Don't, and if you don't see a doctor, by the way, please confront that little devil, okay? Just go see a freaking doctor and get your physical, you know? And um, this is this is the bare minimum you can do for self-care, okay? Um, a few hours that you do for yourself uh, can actually reduce the pain of days, months, or whatever ahead. Just think ahead, not only on right now, okay? Right now, what you can do is grab the phone and make a phone call and schedule an appointment. Uh, right now, you can look into your fridge and say, what can I replace? What can I do better? Right now is, can, how about if I increase the hydration, which also is going to help with that uh, blood you know, pressure as well. So many things you can do right now. Just, just pick one you know, and do it every day. Be consistent. Okay? So much love to you. I hope this is helpful. Feel free to leave some comments, question us. Uh, you're always welcome to check BeFabBeYou.com. And have a great night. Bye-bye.